Hello friends, welcome to MSF TV Cast. And uh, in this video demonstration, we are going to see how we can perform offline defragmentation of Active Directory uh, database in Windows Server 2012 R2. So let's move ahead. Like any other database, Active Directory database also get fragmented as it's write and retrieve data from the database. It will also grow on a size without clearing unused hardware space. Well, in small organization, you will not feel much difference. But when it comes to a large infrastructures, it's become issue. It's need to have a regular optimization of uh, Active Directory database to have better performance. And so, there are two type of defragmentation used with the Active Directory database. First is a online defragmentation and second one is a offline defragmentation. In online defragmentation, it is runs in a certain time interval automatically to defragment Active Directory database. It is a part of Active Directory garbage collection process. It will optimize the data storage and reclaim the space for new Active Directory object. But this will not reduce the size of Active Directory database. The important thing is not required to bring any service offline to do this. Where in offline defragmentation, as the name says, to do this process, we need to stop Active Directory service. To do this, system will create a compact version of the existing Active Directory database in a different location. Once the process is created, the new defragmented database, it will copy the compact version into the original location. And to do this, we will use command line utility called NTDS Util. Things to note before you start the offline defragmentation. Before do offline defragmentation, you need to plan the impact properly. Since Active Directory Domain Service will go down, you need to measure how it will affect the company's operation from user point of view. The time it will take depend on the size of the Active Directory database that you have and how bad it is fragmented. It is always best to take system state backup prior to the process. Let's see how we can do this. First of all, you need to log on to your domain controller and then firstly, you have to stop the Active Directory Domain Service. So let's do that. Open services.msc and then stop Active Directory Domain Service. Just right click on it and click on stop. It's saying there will be a certain additional service which also stop. Click on yes to stop that service also. Okay. Now once services stops, right click on the start button and click on command prompt admin. Let's just change the property so we can view battery font and uh, layout. Okay. So now type NTDS util, hit a mentor, type activate instance ntds to activate the ntds instance then type files to enter in file maintenance and uh, then take help okay so here is the options compact to the location and for location i'm going to create a new folder on a c drive q name compact db okay so that will be the name compact db okay so now run the command compact to and that is database location and that is c compact hyphen db it will also perform the defragmentation this time will take depends on the size of the database and once it is completed it's saying that it is recommended that you immediately perform a full backup of this database if you restore a backup made before the defragmentation, the data bill will roll back to the state it was in at the time of the backup. Compilation is successful. You need to copy and let's copy the command. Enter and open another command prompt. 
type that command, paste it and hit on enter. Say do you want to override? Yes. And that will override the older database. And next, delete the all log files. Okay. Paste it and done. Exit. One more thing is there. Here's about the integrity. It's about the perform check, logical integrity check. And I want to go with in the gritty. Oh, sorry. Integrity. And it's saying ding integrity check for the database. See Windows and TDS and TDS did. Integrity check successful. It is recommended you to run semantic database analysis to ensure semantic database consistency as well. So we can uh, type quit and take help. Here's the options for semantic database analysis. Copy, paste and enter. Take help and here is. So start semantic check with uh, no fixes. So first we will go with this. Let's check go and if we find out a problem then we can run the command start semantic checker with fix up. Okay, so processing done, there's no problem, and that's it. Run quit, quit, and when the process complete, now it's time to start the active directory domain service. Okay, so click on start, and that's done. So, this is the way how we can perform a offline defragmentation of active directory database thanks for watching this video